Hey gang, welcome back to a new episode. If you watched our last episode, you'll know that we have absolutely fallen in love with the southwest of WA and the Bustleton region. It was so hard to leave. Stick around in this episode as we show you some of the other highlights around Bustleton and as we hit the road to start making our way south. All right, legends, here's what's coming up. This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running least Looking for sunset well, as we said, we absolutely fell in love with Bustleton and the Margaret River region in the southwest of WA. We ended up spending a month, a month a, yep. an entire month, just sitting uh, in Bustleton and enjoying the area. It was really cool to have what felt like a holiday from our travels, which might sound crazy, <laughs> but it was just good to slow down for a bit or, in fact, completely stop and just enjoy a bit of time together as a family. We hung out with friends, met up with some travellers that we'd met I don't know, miles earlier, we met up with some new friends. We just had an absolutely unreal time. The diverse landscapes oh. around the Boston Margaret River region is just something that you've got to explore. Within half an hour, you've got like the best bush camping, the best beaches, the best hikes, the best mountains. Like it's just all of my favorite things in a half an hour, like radius zone from Bustleton. I just, yeah. yeah I was searching the real estate agents. We had, <laughs> I was so tempted. <laughs> we had so many awesome day trips to a heap of different beaches. We barely oh. went to the same beach twice. I mean, Meal Up Beach was just fantastic. It got it gets pretty busy there, but to be able to sit up on the grass there under the shade of the trees, it, you can see why it's yeah. popular. It's so protected as well, especially if the wind's blowing uh, because it faces north, that beach. So it's a great one. We went on a couple of four-wheel drive adventures as well. I was going to say, what was the name of that beach that we went with um, Sticks, Sticks and, and Shay? Sticks and Shay, I'll put it up on the screen here. Sticks yeah. and Shay, we went on an awesome little four-wheel drive adventure with them. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But Did the job, eh? Yeah. You just can't beat it. Um, you know, just everything from really calm, beautiful beaches to a little bit of surf, whatever you're after, it's there. I mean, I'm, we're not surfers, as you may have worked out, but <laughs> yeah, we, we saw plenty of people enjoying that as well. Obviously, the Margaret River region is known for its wineries. Oh my goodness. Like, if you wanted to go to every winery in the Margaret River region, if you went to one a day, I think you'd be there for three months. Like, yeah. You couldn't go to them all. You couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't go to them all. And we're, we're not big winery people, uh, especially with the kids, it always is a bit bit of a challenge. But yeah, it was, it was if you if that's what you're into, you will not get bored for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, breweries is more our thing. It yes, turns out. Yes. Well, it's definitely the more breweries my thing. were a lot more kid friendly and beer farm 
was sensational. Like they had this, what was the restaurant there? Oh, they had like slow meat. Oh, cooks. if you're into oh, slow cooked Texan meats and stuff, oh, it was insane. Yeah. You could just don't eat before you go. And super family friendly. We yeah. ended up meeting up with heaps of friends there. And we, I mean, I don't know how many times we went to beer farm over the month <laughs> we were there, but we became pretty regulars, pretty well regulars there. Uh, yeah, it was, it was an awesome spot just to yeah. ch have a chilled out afternoon, have a few bevies, have a good feed and just let the kids go nuts. Um, There's playgrounds. They've got a water slide there for the kids. They've got got gelato that like your yeah. kids will be happy there's a little veggie garden there a little yes. veggie patch it's yep. an old dairy that was converted into a uh, into a brewery just yep. an awesome family run business it was yeah that was really cool <laughs> and another favorite was bootleg brewery for the same yes. sort of reasons um we only went there with the once but again good beers a great feed plenty of space for the kids to run around they have a playground there as well like there's just so many breweries there that are set up well for the yes. families to just really relax because if you've got kids you'll know what it's like if there's a good playground and something for the kids to do it's just so much better and yeah. easier to relax and hang out. So that Absolutely. was really, really good. If you're into mountain biking, there's more trails than I don't know what. There's a lot. There's a lot of mountain it's, bike trails as there well. There is a so lot there as well. That's on your cards. I know a lot of people travel with bikes. While we're in Bustleton, we pretty much went fishing every day, second day, and while we were there, we actually caught some crabs as well a couple of times. So we were cooking up some crabs. Yeah. We made coconut curry yeah, crab. Um, oh. Our mate Shay and Dean that we were camping with, Dean showed us an awesome recipe for a yellow curry uh, with the crab comes out sensational. It's I don't know if I could eat crab another way now. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, hit them up Shay and Dean for the recipe. I couldn't give it to you. <laughs> other than that, we just enjoyed Bustin it itself. It's got an awesome foreshore. Obviously, it's famous for the jetty there. It's one of the longest jetties in Australia. Um, it's, it's an impressive jetty, but they've just done such a good job uh, building such an awesome foreshore around that and just exploring the little towns, Margaret River and 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 the cow, cow, town. cow town. I'm gonna. I'll put up could we wrap us? Oh, cow town, as the locals call it. Um, just awesome little towns with some little shops. It was just fun to explore those yeah. some some days as well. The Margaret River Dairy was a great little find as well. We were pretty excited to go and check out their range of cheeses, which were absolutely beautiful. Uh, the kids though, as soon as they saw the gelato freezer, the ice cream in the freezer, that's all they wanted. So we didn't mind sitting around having a nice little ice cream as well. So all in all, if you can't tell, we absolutely loved Bustleton and the Margaret River region. I don't know how many times we can say it. Words cannot describe how much we enjoyed it, but eventually it was time to leave. We extended, I don't know, more times than I can count <laughs> our stay. We were meant to leave one day and then we stayed one more and then another one. But anyway, we did eventually get out of there and we started to make our way south down to the south coast of WA. So here's where we, what we got up to. Um, Beetle Up Falls was the first stop. Beetle Up Falls, here we are. Beetle Up Falls, just outside of Pemberton. Uh, we thought we'd come and have a quick look. It's only a short 300 metre walk, which is perfect because it's pretty warm today. It's bloody nearly nearly 40 degrees today, so I don't think I'd be up for a long hike, but it's so good to be back in this forest country. We haven't seen tall forest country like this probably since we left the Great Ocean Road. Road right back at the start of the trip. But it kind of reminds us of that. I mean, we were fascinated there by the giant mountain ash um, that are around that area. And now we're in Cary Forest country. So really looking forward to exploring the Cary Forest around here. There's some incredible trees that are on the list of things to go and check out. Uh, but for now, let's check out Beetle Up Falls. And uh, yeah, then we'll We'll make a plan from there, just like always. We've got no idea what we're doing. We're just making and it up as we go. But and we've lost our kids. And we've lost the kids. But, you know, one thing I can guarantee is whatever we do, you'll do with us. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out.
So the walk is a 300 meter loop and half of it is wheelchair friendly and the other half is not. So if you needed pram access or wheelchair access, you could just do half the loop, turn around and go back the same way you came. And the last 150 meters is stairs, which is fine. I'm just gonna pop, pop these now. I'll try and catch up to the kids, I've just been taking photos. <laughs> and got left behind. Oh well. Well, that's Beetle Up Falls. Um, it's got toilets and good parking facilities. It's, it's nice. It would be way more impressive after rain though, I think. So yeah, we're gonna jump in the car and head on to who knows. I don't know, we're gonna try and find camp. See what we can find, hey? Found camp. We are staying at the um, Big Brook Arboretum campground, and we just ditched the van and uh, are going in to see Big Brook Dam because it is a thousand degrees here at the moment, and we are all keen for a swim. There is quite a few people here. It's pretty packed, so let's go check it out. This morning we've packed up, we've left and we've headed into Pemberton and first up on our list today is the Gloucester tree. So it's a fire tree that has pegs up the side of it uh, and they used to use it to spot fires basically. So we're just going to do it tag team, Simon will take Harrison up and then I will have a go. But it's pretty gnarly and I'm just really evaluating whether it's like I actually want to do or not. I'm not scared of heights but it's pretty high and there's no safety, it's like safety from the 80s. Not for the faint-hearted, you do have to have your sort of wits about you. Let's see how we go. Simon will be 100% fine, he's like a mountain goat.
Harrison's just shouted out to me. He's from up the top now and he goes, Mum, it will be amazed. You will be amazed at what you see up here. I was like, oh, he's loving it up there. Ooh, where are we? Where are we, Harrison? We're at the shore. Of what? Of a tree. Yeah. Harrison and I have just climbed up to the top of the Gloucester tree. So we're 53 meters up in the air. We've just climbed up a heap of steel pegs to get up here. It is an awesome view up here. It is just, it, this is so cool. Like Harrison just said, it's the biggest tree house he's ever been in. It's unreal. So I I'm pretty sure, I've got to read up on the history, and I'm pretty sure the history of these trees is they were used for fire spotting. Obviously from up here on the platform, you can see for miles. So smoke from any sort of fire would be quite easy to see. So I'm pretty sure that's the history of these trees that they built out here in the Cary Forest is uh, yeah, right up in the top of the canopy so that they can spot any fire risks. It was a tough little climb. We got out here reasonably early this morning. It's about 10 o'clock before the heat because it's going to be another hot day today. So we've had a big climb. We've had a bit of a rest. We might start start heading down soon. Harrison, what do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? Head back down? Head back down. All right, sounds like a plan. Um, James had to miss out on this one. Liz might still come up. She's unsure. She's still deciding. She's a pretty decent climb and it's pretty high. So uh, it's definitely a test of the nerves if you've got a little bit of a fear of heights. But anyway. We are done and dusted. Harrison and I are going to start making our way back down and then, uh, yeah, see if Liz is going to come up for a climb. Two hands up there, please, mister. James, don't go was any higher, it? please. Was it worth it? Yeah. When you get up there, you'll be amazed what you have done. You going up, Dale? My turn. Looking forward to it. Apparently the view from the top is quite good and worth it, so I'll have to see for myself, shall I? Yeah. You and have you have fun with the kids. I might uh, might get stuck at the top for a little bit. Workout. You've only just started. <laughs> Going up to the easy bit. Coming down to the hard part. Yep. If you hear someone screaming, can you come save me? Nope. <laughs> okay, so I've just come down. On my climb up, I did go up. My whole body got the shakes. My legs started to shake on the way up and on the way down, but because Harrison did it, I sort of have to do it. And I've, I wanted to push myself to see if I could. My whole body was sweating. My hands were just gripping. I genuinely thought that I was potentially gonna fall. I was up there by myself. There was no one above or below me to catch me. My whole leg had the like, like the shakes on the way down. That's insane. It's quite spectacular, but I don't think I've ever been that scared, like genuinely thought I was going to fall. And I don't know if you can see, but like the sweat coming off my body is insane. Like, yeah, I, I've never experienced anything like that. It's not so much the height that worried me. It was the, the fear of being responsible for yourself and that there's no safety there at all. So. It was really cool and I'm really, really proud that I did it. But holy moly, I thought I was gonna black out from fear. I think it was fear. It's not, not fear of heights, but just fear of falling. It's bloody scary. Like, it's cool, but my leg is now cramped. I've got this massive leg cramp because my leg's just done this for the last 20 minutes. But yeah. We made it safely back down. Harrison's like, what were you scared of? I'm like, mate, are you kidding? I can't believe he did that without getting scared. My heart's still pounding. Um, yeah, we're gonna head off, have lunch in a park and then uh, find a camp, sit the road. Well, this is camp tonight. 
It's uh, nothing flash, just a little rest area. So we had a really good day in Pemberton today, just hung out in there for a bit. Um, we went to check out a woodworking gallery, but unfortunately it was closed, which seems to be our luck with galleries. But anyway, um, yeah, that was awesome climbing the Gloucester tree and that the kids had a blast doing that. That was really good fun. So just a quick overnighter tonight in this rest area. So it's only about three o'clock in the Arvo. We just pulled in here to sort of look at our options for camping and stuff. We could keep going into Warpole. We're only about 10, 15 minutes out of the town of Warpole, but yeah, I don't know. We've had enough. So pull up here. This will do. It's a free camp for the night and we'll go in and explore Warpole in the morning. So this will do us. The best bit is though, is we pulled up about an hour ago to get the kids some uh, drinks and, uh, and that out of the van. And I thought, bugger, we'll turn the air conditioning on. So we just ran the air con because it's bloody another hot day today. It's, uh, yeah, another warm one. So we've just chucked the air con on. So the air con's been running the last hour while we've been driving. Uh, so it pulls about 70 or 80 amps. And while we're driving, we especially with the full sun, we're getting about 65, 70 amps back in. So it's not much of a deficit. We've still got 80-something percent of battery power as we pulled up. Um, and we weren't at 100% when I turned it on. So we've done well, and now we get to go and step into a nice cool van. So hot tip for you. That'll do us. We're just going to have a lazy night tonight. I'm going to go edit some videos. The kids are just going to have a bit of a play and hang out in the van. It's pretty hot out here. So lazy one tonight. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll shoot into Warpole in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. Alrighty guys, the rain has started falling, we've got to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, if you enjoyed it, chuck a like there for us, it really helps us out. Subscribing to our channel helps us out as well and it makes sure you don't miss any of our episodes. It lets YouTube and us know that you think our content's a bit of alright and it's absolutely free for you. So feel free to join our community and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment, let us know what you thought of this episode. If you've got any questions or anything like that, we'd love to hear from our community, so hit us up. Absolutely. I'd love to know if you would climb that tree or not. And don't let forget, us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. And don't forget 10% of the revenue from this channel goes to charity every single month. So by you watching the ads, it helps to support us as your favourite creators, I'm sure, and those charities as well. So we really appreciate that. Thanks, Legends. Next week, we're going to be making our way further along the WA coast. There's some awesome things to check out. And we find one of our favourite free camps uh, that we've found in WA. So stick around for that one. That's coming up next week. In the meantime, enjoy your week and we'll see you... Next Sunday. See you next Sunday. Thanks. Hey gang, welcome back to a new episode. Yeah, welcome everyone. As you uh, try again. Fresh or just cut, it, them... just cut it. Just cut it. Sorry, you just crows are. You're gonna have to wait for that crow. Where are we? Beetle up falls. <laughs> Beetle up falls. First up. All right. So this morning we've packed up, mate. Sorry. <sighs> I'm pretty proud of myself. I was um, that was terrifying. When I was up there, I had to sing myself theme songs from Milan, from like my favorite Disney movies to like motivate myself to keep going because like once you're up there, you've got to keep going. Like you've either got to go up or down. You've just got to commit. Oh little kids in the beach, hey? James is like a little crumb schnitzel most of the time. <laughs>